Hi everybody, great to see you, welcome. In this video, I wanted to talk about being mindful to take care of yourself. We seem to put so many things um, above our needs and we put our own feelings, emotions, uh, self-care, everything in the back burner. And you wonder when we get depleted and we get so tired sometimes in our life, it's hard to enjoy life to the fullest. And so many times the enemy, he knows us pretty well and says in John 10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and to destroy us. But I have come to give you life and to have it abundantly. So in this video, I would like all of us to just take a moment and pause and think of what is distracting you or derailing you or challenging you or tempting you to get off your track and from enjoying this good life of ours. Do you feel like you're barely surviving in this world right now? Do you feel like you're barely surviving at work? You're just huffing and puffing, try to make ends meet, and you just can't enjoy it anymore? Your passion is gone? Or do you feel like you're surviving in your relationship with a loved one? Do you feel like, mm, I have gotten disconnected with this person and I'm just so tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired of just trying to put in any kind of effort in this marriage or in this relationship with my children or, or parents or whoever else, you know? Or it can be so many other things that just really can just distract our attention from doing what is good and what is right and just from enjoying this God-given life of ours to the fullest. I believe that the enemy knows all of us pretty well and he knows what can trigger our buttons, he knows how we can, he, what he, tactics to use to, to um, put our mind and focus off of God, but to re-gear our, our attention and everything urgently to other matters in our life. So therefore, we just get derailed. And I'm here to encourage you, to, to, you today to get back on your groove and get back on the right track to live in God's love and walk in His truth and the path of His righteousness today. For it said in John 10.10, 10, I have come to give you life, Jesus says, and to have it abundantly. So God offers a wonderful free life for all of us to live and to enjoy. And do not let the enemy steal your joy. If just proclaim your power, take it back if you feel like you gave the, your power to other people or your power, your time and your energy to working all the time or whatever it may be, only you know. But I just pray that you may refocus your mind, your heart, get back on the good track get back on your groove remember who and whose you are in Christ and truly live this wonderful abundant life that God's given to us let us not have this mindset of just barely barely surviving in everything that we do for first of all we have to take care of our health because if our health is not good we're not good for anybody else we'll have no energy we'll have no clarity we'll have no passion or creativity or no efforts to do our best and to give or offer our best in our jobs and other people and organizations and so many other things. So let us be mindful again to have some self-care and prioritize that. Whatever you can do to re-energize yourself, to replenish yourself, to restore your good mindset, um, your physical well-being, if you need to start eating better um, instead of all the junk food and, and start exercising and do whatever you do, do to keep on moving your body in a good and healthy manner. So let's just be the best person that we can be, that God created us to be, and just see how we can really evolve and continue to enjoy the delightful surprises that God has in store for each and every one of us. He's just waiting for us to open up the doors of surprise and just to always be in good fellowship with Him, to love Him, 
and to place our honor and our trust in Him in all things. So let's, again, let's not give in to temptation or get derailed or distracted by the enemy because He knows what He can do to trigger any kind of temptations or addictions or um, getting you so busy that you can't enjoy life or whatever it may be. He'll use any tactic. He'll use any method. He'll use any person to derail you off track. Get back on your groove, I encourage you. Remember who you are and stay on the right track and walk the path of righteousness today so we can enjoy this wonderful abundant life that Jesus came to give to all of us as his gift. God bless you and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.